Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, April the 1st, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, looks like we get some good ones here. Nice, some different ones like this bad boy here. I haven't seen that one before. That's pretty cool. All right, now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, yeah, looks like we have uh, eight daily challenges here again today, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's no event that's popping up uh, on the world map here. Um, so we have been getting April Fool events since this past Thursday. I'm not too sure if what we'll come across today, there might be uh, something different, uh, but we'll see. We'll do these daily challenges and see if we come across... A different type of enemy so uh just an fyi there okay let's take a look here see what we could do here in our camp let's go ahead and do this followed first here craft our scrap armor five now we can find armor all throughout the wasteland we can just find it off of enemies that we kill uh grafton monster usually has a couple pieces of armor on them after you kill them and uh in around super mutants we'll have uh, armor just kind of laying around but for this particular daily or weekly challenge, we can just craft some armor and then scrap it at our armor workbench. And that's what we're going to do here. Nice, quick, and easy. Let's go inside here. So here's our armor workbench here. And let's go craft. Now, the armor that I'm uh, talking about is the uh, light armor. And uh, if you go down to the light armor and the leather pieces, these leather pieces you learn very, very early on in the game. I remember, I think I was like level 10. And I had uh, the majority of these leather pieces. So just an FYI there. Uh, so this leather left arm, for example, is only going to cost me one cloth, one leather, and two steel for a level one. And uh, I'm just going to craft three of them. And uh, doing it this way just saves you a lot of time. But again, there's nothing stopping you from going in the wasteland and killing some enemies and finding armor. But you might as well get it done as fast, as quick as possible so we can just move on to other things. And then we're going to go scrap. We're going to scrap the leather left arms we just crafted here. Done. Cra scrap, uh, geez. scrap our craft armor 5 for 5. Done. Get that out of me there. Good stuff. Rank 24. Another 25 tickets. That's pretty awesome. Okay. What's next here? What is next? Okay. Build turrets or traps in a workshop or camp 3. So we can go ahead. Claim any old workshop on the map. Or we could just build turrets or traps right here in our camp. We might as well just do that here right now. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go build. Uh, let's go down here to turrets or traps. And uh, I like to kind of pick these guys here. Now, I find turrets, they cost a lot. Uh, these little punji boards, they don't cost a whole lot. But it uh, doesn't matter what size. They usually cost the same thing, like four steel and eight wood. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to just build uh, three of these bad boys. And I like to have a uh, player friendly camp. So I, I don't usually have turrets or traps or anything in my in my camp. And uh, usually whatever takes care of my camp. Usually I'm here anyway. And I'll just uh, take care of if it's something bigger. But uh, but yeah, there we go. Done. Build turrets or traps in a workshop or camp three for three. There we go. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Okay, consume any chems too. So chems we can literally find everywheres on the map everywheres all down through flat woods anywheres where there's human enemies like bloody blood eagles or cultish will find chems on them by killing them and just find chems kind of laying around uh point pleasant is a great spot for chems okay uh at train stations they have the uh, medical uh dispensers okay that you can buy some chems off of them okay or we can just craft chems right here at our uh, chemistry uh, station here. Let's go inside here. Here's our chemistry station. We're going to go craft. We're going to go down here to healing. 
okay? And, that, and most people will have right away in stim packs on them anyway, okay? The majority of people. But just in case you don't, let's say you're very new. I know when I played the game very early on, and this is before, you know, Wastelanders and such, when the first game was first released, finding right away in stim packs was really hard to do. So I don't know how hard it is nowadays doing this. Uh, like as a brand spanking new character, but to make a Rataway right diluted times two, as long as you have one bag of Rataway right and two purified water, you can do it. So the same thing with a stim pack diluted times two. All you need is one stim pack and two purified water. Now let's back out for a second, and I'm going to just show you something. And um, just just for your information, I guess under intelligence, there's a perk card that we can use. Under it's called chemist. You get double quality when you craft chems. And one thing good about this is you get double the results. But the same amount of requirements okay and then up here under luck uh there'll be a uh, another perk card but this is a little later on uh but we get super duper when you craft anything there's 30 percent chance you'll get double results when i'm crafting stuff i usually kind of mention this to folks uh more so like for ammo and stuff like that but it, it'll stack here with the chemist just like it does with ammo smith and we proved this several times in videos as proof let's go back to the chemistry station we're gonna go craft Okay, and let's go down here to healing. Now you're gonna see what happens here. Right away, see, see, right away, diluted times four, and it's the same amount of requirements, okay? Uh, two purified water and one right away, but you get double results. And same thing with the stim pack, okay? And this is all you have to do. You just craft these, um, you can just craft this, and then you just can just kind of take it, okay? And this is what I highly recommend you guys uh, do. And uh, especially if you're a newer character, your right away in stim pack will maybe last a little bit longer, get you through, until you you know get some more uh, more stuff. I just kind of wanted to kind of add that in. So let's put our perk cards back here. Just want to just kind of I like to kind of add stuff like that in, uh, just to show folks because um, there's so many uh, new people to the game. Okay, let's uh, take these, put these back. Might have to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to take some chems here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get some full health. Now, if you can't take a stim pack because you're full health, let's go ahead here and we're going to uh, radiate ourselves a little bit. And I'm going to, to you know, force myself to take a uh, rat away. And uh, let's go ahead. We're just going to keep activating this and just get as much. And that way there, I'll take a rat away and I'll take a uh, stim pack real quick. It's radioactive barrel and uh, even if you don't have a radioactive barrel you can just kind of most streams and waters you'll get like plus one it might take you a little bit of time like you know what i mean like when you go in the water you'll you know, you'll get like one or two rads okay just like that right you don't have to have uh you know radiated barrel you can do it that way close to a stream down through flatwoods that little stream that goes behind the church that's a great spot uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to take a uh, right away uh, diluted and we're going to get oh, we're going to take a stim pack real quick here. I don't know if it worked or not. There we go. No, it didn't. Okay, perfect. So we took the uh, right away diluted, so it didn't cure all the right away, and then we finished it off with the right away, which is uh, it is what we do. So we actually have to take it, so rock and roll it worked that time, and that's what I recommend you guys do. Just kind of use the rat away and uh, get ready a little bit and uh, use a couple diluted ones and, uh, you know, and all that jazz. Just make sure that you, uh, if you do <laughs> have your uh, <laughs> uh, mutation, make sure you have your starch genes equipped and in your, your uh, class freak, of course, more so the starch genes in this case when you take a rat away. All right, what's next here, Jim? What is next here? Okay, uh, we're going to keep these two here till the end. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and kill a cultist. Ten. Uh, many great spots for cultists. Uh, as I said, uh, Point Pleasant, great spot for a cultist. Um, most times, the cultists on the map, you'll see this type of icon. Uh, we haven't been up here in Clancy Manor for a little bit, so let's pop up here today. One thing good about this daily is we can uh, take care of them with any old weapon, any old which way is fine. This is that's a daily uh, quest. Let's go up here and we're going to take that right off so it's off the uh, toggle that off. There we go. All right, we're here at Clancy Manor here. We're going to take care of some cultists. Any old which way is fine. 
If you're near Point Pleasant, uh, you know, not by all means. Good stuff. Gonna get pretty hairy here. So as you can see, we get all kinds of stim packs from these guys, right? <laughs> oh, how you doing? You're coming down to see me today, are you? Okay. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. So you can see the stim packs I'm getting off these guys. So uh, this guy's got two stim packs on him, even better. And look at that. He's got uh, some armor pieces on him as well. So uh, cultists uh, are really good at giving away uh, aid. And, uh, you know, so you can do those chems and, of course, armor. You can scrap the armor you get off these guys. So this method behind my madness showing you this stuff, even though we complete, there's many, many ways we can do these daily challenges. And uh, I'm just trying to show you the way I do the video is, you know, give you guys as many options as you can. Let's lock and load here, Jim. Right, let's go inside. It might get a little hairier inside here. Unless they came out to see me already. Oh, there he is right there. Feel like cultist 10 for 10. Done. Just like that, guys. There's a little pile. Look at this. Stimpaks and armor galore. Look right, at that. It's more armor. Isn't that awesome? Good stuff. These guys are going crazy today. They do not like me here. They do not. Is that Nash pile there? It is. Look at that. We missed it. As you can see, all kinds of options here. All kinds of... Oh, he missed. <laughs> I didn't even know he was following me there. Look at that. Some new two more stim packs. Yeah. Yeah, cultists is a great spot. Blood Eagles are the same thing. Let's get that cat up there because he's annoying. There we go. All right. What's next here? What is next? Let's go ahead, uh, kill Glowing Creature 1. Uh, so many uh, great videos I have and great spots for Glowing Creatures, uh, but one of the best spots that I find for Glowing Creatures in the form of Mole Miners is right here in good old Monadga. So let's pop over here today. Now when it says creatures, we are talking anything but a robot or a human. Okay, so creatures like mole miners, super mutants, scorched, ghouls, cryptids, you know, scorched beasts, mylurks, insects, okay? Uh, anything but a robot and a human, all right? And it's got to be glowing. So the way you know, just in case you don't know, it, most times they'll say glowing. They'll have a kind of glowing kind of look to them. Uh, but uh, I'll wait for the See how it's glowing mole miner there? Done, just like that. Go glowing creature one for one done. And we have a uh, mole rat following us there. Let's get up here for a second. There we go. What's that noise there? What is going on here? Oh, he must have killed the mole rat on us. That's all right. I'm okay with that. Uh, what's next here? And as I said, like here in Monaga. Uh, there's probably about 10 to 12 uh, mole miners here. But uh, see, there's another glowing guy up there. Usually half of them are glowing when you come here. Let's check down here. See, you can look down there. See how there are two glowing guys that are down there. Great spot for glowing mole miners. Probably one of the best. Have some stuff here. Good stuff. Good stuff, Jim. Uh, what's next here before we continue on here? Let's go take a look. All right, kill them all at five. So yes, we have maybe a couple more rats that are around Mononga, but uh, we won't find five of them. Uh, the, one of the best spots for a good number of mole rats. Uh, I actually made a mole rat video and we were very successful in that video. I would say maybe about four months ago, you could check out that video if you so wish. We were very, very successful with mole rats. And uh, one of the best places in that video I took you was Riverside Manor. Let's go down here today. 
and you can check that video out. If you're looking for a mall rat, you're looking for a mall rat meat, you can check out that video. That video will help you out a lot. And I made it, you know, as I say, four months ago, and uh, it's a great spot. So when you spawn here, Riverside Manor, uh, just over here at this little bus station here, there'll be some uh, mall rats that are around here. Usually, usually about two or three of them just in this one little location right here. Oh, the explosion must have killed him. That's fine, as we killed these two here. Uh, so this is just this location here. That's three. Now up here at Riverside Manor itself, there's all kinds of the places just infested with mole rats. It's a really, really good spot. Uh, we're going to avo avoid those scorch there for now. We're going to make our way through the little garden here. We just need one more. Just go around the outside of the house here. As I said, the front part of the house will have the uh, scorched. <laughs> now, if you're uh, limited to, look at that, rank 25 or another 25 tickets, beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah, see how he ended up over there? That's pretty awesome. Um, what was I going to say? I forget what I was going to say now. Um, yeah, I forget what I was going to say. I saw the tickets pop up there and I just couldn't help myself. Yeah, he's going to be careful. That guy is a little bit of a trap. See the, uh, the little Tesla trap there? Pretty cool, eh? But a great spot for uh, mole rats uh, right down here at Well Station. And then you go a little bit on the uh, west side of Welsh. All kinds of mole rats down there as well. Real good spot. What's next here, Jim? All right, let's take a look at these ones here. Uh, complete the event one. And I'm hoping if we're able to spawn the event I'm wanting to is uh, there's a sentry bot there and we'll be able to take care of that sentry bot at the same time. Um, so let's go ahead, complete the event one. So I made a video, as, as you guys know, about uh, two months, two and a half months ago. And it's called uh, Complete Events for Newbies. And you don't have to be a newbie to watch that video. And uh, you could be an experienced player because we'll do the daily weekly challenges. Sometimes you're like, hey, how come there's no events up on the map? Or the events are just too busy or they, you know, they, uh, some some events are time sensitive and they get finished quickly. So a lot of those uh, events I did in that video, it's like an hour and six minutes long. I spawned in myself on a private server. All right. And um, but uh, we, we can see there's a couple of events here today. Uh, we have Manhunt up here at the at uh, good old Grafton Dan. That's a pretty good one there. We have the Enclave event. What's this one here? Uh, Breach and Clear. That's full of mole miners. That's a good spot. It'll be glowing mole miners and some mole rats down there. So you could probably finish off a couple dailies with that particular event there. Uh, but where I'm going to take you here today is called Mount Blair Train Yard. And I'm hoping to spawn in the event called BattleBot. And that event is extremely easy, even if you're a low level, extremely easy to do. And at the same time, we are going to try to cripple the sentry bot's arms. Okay, so left arm, right arm. So I'm hoping we can just do that on the one sentry bot, then all we need is one more sentry bot, okay? Uh, but we're going to probably complete the event first. Let's travel down here to Mount Blair Train Yard. And hopefully that event spawns in for us. Perfect. Just like it did in the video. Yeah, it's lock and load here. Um, now when you're crippling anything, you can go ahead and free aim if you so wish. Or you can use VATS. I prefer to use VATS myself. There's a perk card that'll help you out with that under perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. This allows you to move your VATS around from head, torso, arms, and legs. And I like to use VATS mainly because they move around a lot. Okay? Uh, so let's go over here. We have the... Uh, so we get the right arm. Let's try to get the left arm here. Try to cripple it. No such luck today. <laughs> Let's get this Mr. Gutsy. So we were unsuccessful crippling that guy. Sometimes I have pretty good luck. Now when you... T <laughs> okay. 
Where did he go? Did we... Yeah, here he is right here. Wow. That uh, explosion was violent. There we go. Lock and load. You make sure you take those uh, key cards off them. Now, if you're legitimately looking to kill huh, the sentry bots instead of crippling, uh, fusion core is always the best way. All right, so that's this why another way to use vats uh, lets you get the fusion core. Usually just like a shot or two and the sentry robot's done. Let's go up here and we'll get this Mr. Gutsy. Now, as I mentioned, we were unsuccessful in crippling that guy, so we're going to have to find another one. Uh, so again, make sure you take the uh, card Alpha. The other Mr. Gutsy had the card Beta. Let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So we have Bunker Card Alpha, Bunker Card Beta, okay. So now what we do is we go down to this little building here, and uh, this is kind of glitched for me where these doors are open all the time, but they're supposed to be closed. Okay, but even so, I can't progress on into, you know, I can't... I wonder if it'll let me... No. So even if you... Uh, actually, never tried that before. Uh, it, you still got to go through the paces as if the doors were closed. So basically, the doors are supposed to be closed. You activate the key cards, and then the doors swing open so you can hit that red button now this is time sensitive so the it, it'll take you a couple times to practice it not gonna lie but once you do it a couple times it's not a problem so i just activate it and i just walk i don't run i just walk when i get to the side i just uh, spam it done just like that i think it's only like three seconds <laughs> and then you go in here and you hit the shutdown done event done battle bot as i mentioned really really easy to do and again for that sentry bot all you have to do is hit, hit him in the fusion core um let's get rid of some of this junk here that i have on me i don't even know why i have this stuff on me here let's get rid of that stuff okay good stuff and also once when you get in here there's lots of goodies in here too lots and lots of goodies and always check this cabinet. This cabinet will have stuff in it. Salisbury steak, military duct tape. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, the hot plate's got copper in it. Let's grab that. Let's grab that, Jim. So that's BattleBot. BattleBot's really easy to do. And if you run into trouble um, trying to find an event, again, you can try watching that video that I made about two and a half months ago, and you won't have any issues spawning in your own event. Because you don't have to wait for an event to pop up. Uh, what's next here? Alright, so Epic. This Epic one, of course. Uh, anytime you get an Epic, it's always more score than the usual. And cripple a Sentry Bot's arm, so we were unsuccessful <laughs> doing that with the old Circuit Breaker. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a couple spots where there are Sentry Bots. So this is one spot for guaranteed Sentry Bot, Mount Blair Train Yard for Battle Bot. Okay. Um, now, if BattleBot isn't going on, I don't know if the Sentry Bot is still here. I don't think so. I would like to say no, but uh, don't quote me on it. Um, another good spot for a Sentry Bot is uh, right up here at Dire Chemical. So let's spawn up here. Now, this one here might take us a little longer time to complete, but I uh, have uh, the Burning Love uh, with me. It's quiet. And we have some bow and arrows with us. We're going to leave those guys alone, those uh, gulpers down there. But here's uh, Dire Chemical. You actually spawn a little bit north up the road. Let's go ahead here. Let's put the uh, Burning Love on us. And uh, let's get something to uh, drink here real quick. Okay, now usually the Sentry Bot is usually down the main road. Okay, usually. And if we are successful, hopefully we will be able to get two cripples with the one sentry. Oh, there he is right there. So this is a guaranteed spot for... So again, don't go for the fusion core. You want to go for the, uh, the arms. And he just went behind that truck. I don't want to get... Because there's a lot of robots here. I just want to get that sentry bot. I'm hoping he uh, comes back down around the corner here. 
get down here. Mr. Gutsy down there. I just want to try to get, wait for him now that I said that he's probably going to take his sweet old time there. Yeah, he's going inside. Uh oh Oh my god, Chip. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Erp. Did that work? I don't think it did. Nope. It did not work. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, okay. What am I st stuck on here? This one here, we're going to have to work a little bit more for it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Let's get up here, baby. Come on. No. <laughs> Let's uh, get up here for a second. Let's lock and load. Let's take a stim pack. Let's switch her up here. Uh, right arm. Okay, get out of the way there. This isn't working very well, is it? Get rid of that stupid gulper there. Right arm. Right arm, right arm, right arm, right arm. Come on. Never actually tried this before uh, with these guys. With the sentry bots, to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got ourselves trapped here. Oh, did he kill me? He did. Wow. That's a lot of firepower. Let's go back down the dire chemical. <laughs> Brutal. Let's give it another try with the circuit breaker here. if he's still over here. <laughs> I wonder if he can make it in here. I don't think he can. I don't think we even got a cripple on him yet. No, he didn't. Wow. Let's try to uh, free aim. Okay, so we did get a cripple. So a left arm this time. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord, Jim. Uh, so that was what arm was it? Uh oh. Budget Booker. There we go. How you doing?
Just try to get the left arm on him. Left arm, left arm, left arm, left arm. <laughs> Explodey. Okay. So we got one cripple. Just one. Let's uh, go back to my camp. And uh, get something better. Let's do that. Let's go to my camp here. Where's my camp at? Right here. Let's go to my camp and do something better here. But that's all. <laughs> that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, guys, is uh, <laughs> just what I just did there. All right, let's let's put this bow and arrow back here. That didn't do anything. Let's put the arrows back. Put all this junk back. Um, let's go ahead. Let's um. Let's get the 5.56 five, out. Let's try that. Let's go 2 or 50. There we go. Uh, let's go for the handmade. Good old, good old faithful here. I could find it past it. There we go. Let's get our weapon together here. Okay. Um, another good spot. <laughs> Everyone knows uh, White Springs, so uh, I don't know how it's going to work here because usually these guys are passive, usually. But uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to see how it works here. I just don't like how they have a, I don't, a whole lot of assaultrons around. So let's go here. We're going to continue on with our little quest here. Oh, there's a friend. Let's uh, get somewhere where we can make a fast escape. We have a situation. Someone's coming after me. Is he going to hurt me? Hope not. Get up here. How do we do there? There's still one for four. This place on high alert. Oh yeah, okay, Jim. See, careful. Is that's gonna happen right there? It yeah, all the robots. And this guy uh, is gonna keep coming after me, isn't he? One thing good about this is now we can go vats on them. The gardener's coming after me, see that? Alright, so we need to... Can't go vats on that guy because he's too far away. What do you say? Just keep a run, we'll call it even. Alright, so... Ghouls are going to help me out there. Let's get up on the roof here. Urp. Left arm, left arm. Yeah, that's definitely hard to do. That is definitely hard to do. All those, all those shots. We only got 
one arm off of the other the other sensory bot. Wow. That's hard to do. Just hitting the left arm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go right arm now. Just keep pumping the right arm. Okay, that guy's dead now. Or destroyed, I should say. <laughs> Killed all those, uh... People. All the responders are coming after me. Let's uh, go this way. <laughs> Thought there was more sentry bots around. Could be wrong. Let's get up here on this roof. Er, come on, maybe you can do it. No. Nope. Okay, these guys are fine now. Okay, let's go. Oh, they got nothing on them. They remember me. Hopefully they doesn't come like that all the time. Let's get up on this roof. Oh, I missed it. All right, so what we can do is uh, let's uh, server hop. Let's get off this server. Let's go to a different server. And uh, let's go to a public session this time. <laughs> this is a huge challenge. Huge. I can see a lot of people re-rolling this just because... Uh, with the exception to BattleBot, uh, these bots are quite uh, beefy. Alright, good stuff. Uh, there is another... Another sentry bot around, and its name is Betsy. And it hangs out here by the, uh, the Wayward. Uh, but I don't know if you can kill Betsy or not. But I want to give it a try for this video, so let's pop up here. Now, I don't think Betsy has uh, weapons on it. See, there's the other sentry bot there. But I don't know if we can kill it or not. Let's uh, get over here. I don't think it has weapons on him, though. Okay, let's go ahead here. Go ahead, aim for the arm. Get out of the way there. Go for the arm here. I don't think it's going to work. I just wanted to try it for this video, I guess. I don't think it's working. No. It should have got destroyed by now. Betsy's done. <laughs> Let's go back down here to uh, Mount Blair's train yard. Yeah. I don't think it's going to work with Betsy. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried that against Betsy and see if you got it to work. It's uh, not working for me. It's lock and load. Oh. Hopefully Betsy forgets. Uh, Site Alpha, Site Bravo, and Site Charlie, where you launch the missiles. Um, they also have sentry bots in them as well. Uh, so we're in danger here. So BattleBot did not spawn in for us this time. And I don't see the sentry bot around. So it could be just during that event only. That event only exclusive. Alright, that's fine. 
Uh, let's pop back up here to good old uh, White Spring uh, Resort outside, and uh, we'll see if we can take care of this. We might have to get up on the roof and uh, get, in, get one of those guys aggravated at us, so there we go. Let's get up on the roof here. Okay, let's get this guy here. Right arm. Oh. Just going for the arm. Just focus on one arm at a time. Hopefully, we have enough ammo for this. <laughs> Might have to go back and get more ammo. That'd be embarrassing. Again, I'm just trying to shoot the, the one arm. He's going to be destroyed here in a second. We haven't even crippled the arm. That is something else. Wow. That's something else. Yeah, because we only got... Yeah, we still got the two. Wow, that is something. That is crazy. That's the gardener. Sentry bot, right arm. I'm a little closer there, bot. Uh, let's go for the left arm, because the right arm's not working. Let's get uh, some canned coffee in this, because this isn't working out really well for us. Canned coffee, where are you? This is something else. I can't believe this. I haven't even crippled that thing. Is he dead? He is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one definitely is, as the name says, epic challenge. Cripple Sentry Bot's arm. We only got two for four. So this video has already been longer than I really, really wanted it to be, unfortunately. But uh, it is what it is. Let's get up on this roof here. Er, there we go. There we go. They're kind of out of the way from everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys can uh, go ahead and try that. I'm going to keep doing it. But uh, basically, you guys get the gist of <laughs> what it is you have to do there. And uh, I can see a lot of people rolling it. I can see myself rolling it here. I'm going to try it a few more times myself, but uh, that's a lot of ammo and very, very unsuccessful. Even the usual, my, my go-to ballistic weapon. But uh, let me know in the comments how you made out with Cripple Sentry Bot's arm. And if you're successful... You know, what weapon did you use? If you used any special perk cards? Just to kind of share with myself, I guess. Learning for me. And uh, share with the community. If you have any tips or tricks for that one, it would be great. So there you guys go. <laughs> there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members. Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather... White Tribe Star win 138. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.